In this video, we are going to install the Motion Canvas Library. This is a tool to make animations using TypeScript. Surely you know libraries like Manim, Reanimate, or Morpho. Let's see, then some advantages and disadvantages of using this library. First, the disadvantages. Motion Canvas is very recent, so the amount of examples and complex projects is small compared to the others. It does not have as many features and utilities as other libraries, yet. The handling of formulas in LaTeX is also quite basic. Now let's move on to the advantages. The biggest advantage Motion Canvas offers over the competition is that it offers a preview of the animations in real time, which allows better control of the timing visually rather than numerically. Another great advantage that Motion Canvas offers is that, being web-based, almost all CSS features can be used in the same way as you would with a web page. Also included is the ability to make presentations without the need to install anything additional. Although there are not so many projects made in Motion Canvas, the documentation is quite good, and again, since it uses web technology, it is relatively easy to create custom components. Let's move on to the installation. The dependencies are few, NPM and FFmpeg. In the description I will leave tutorials to install these dependencies. Obviously you need to have knowledge of JavaScript, TypeScript, CSS, and a little bit of TSX. I will leave tutorials in the description for you to learn everything you need before using this library. We use this command to create a new Motion Canvas project. We indicate the name and the address, as you would do in any Vite project. We move to the folder just created and install the necessary packages. This is where our main file is located. We copy some of the examples and paste them into the code. To see the editor, we have to pull up the server and open the URL. And ready, here we will be able to see the preview, which looks very similar to any video editor you have used. To render the project, we have three options. Render as image sequence, render as video, and render as slideshow. The default is to render as image sequence. To change this, we have to open the rendering options and change the field that says exporter. Obviously, it is necessary to have FFmpeg installed to be able to do this. And that's it. Now you can start using Motion Canvas. As I said before, the documentation is quite good, so you will have no problem learning to use it. Surely the question you are asking yourself is, which of all the libraries is worth learning? And the truth is that it is a little difficult to answer, since, if you already have knowledge of web technologies, the most advisable would be to learn Motion Canvas, since it makes use of all the advantages offered by the web to make animations. On the other hand, if you are just starting programming, I would recommend starting with Manim, since the background you need is much less than the one you need to learn Motion Canvas. Each one offers advantages and disadvantages that you will have to take into account depending on the project you want to do.